YouTube, it's me, long time no see, but I'm back with a new video. I'm just doing a quick, simple, um, everyday work kind of makeup. It's really low-key, not heavy glamour, because I sweat all day, so if I had a bunch of face makeup on, I would feel pretty gross by the end of the day. So I just wanted to share this with you guys using one of my favorite palettes, which is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette doesn't even want to register there you go um so i hope you guys enjoy the video and if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see from me because i want to start doing videos again then please comment down below and let me know but i hope you guys enjoy this quick simple look and i will see you later all right so i'm just starting off using the garnier Claire water and i'm just using it to just kind of clean up my face get off the dirt clean under my eyes that kind of thing and i show you the pad it looks super gross lovely lovely clean off you know the extra gunk from under my eyes and then i like to use the aveeno clear complexion daily moisturizer just rub that in all over my face and then I move on and I prime my eyes with the e.l.f. $1 eyelid primer, which honestly is like my favorite, you guys. Like, it is the best. And I've used all the high-end primers, and for me, this one works the best. So I definitely recommend it. And, you know, I just apply some of that on my eyes and rub it in. And the best thing is it's only a dollar. And then I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I think Dark Brown, Deep Brown one of those and it looks kind of oily and greasy because I added some oil to it because it was drying out so I made it a little better to work with which totally helped and I just start by filling in my eyebrows I usually start at the bottom work my way back to the tail and then just fill in the front part because the hair doesn't really like to grow there anymore because I shaved it off a lot when I was a kid because I always got a unibrow so yeah I just start off with like the bottom line go to the tail make it look nice and even and then fill in that front little bit and if you hear some rumbling there's a thunderstorm going on right now sorry about it but yeah just continue filling in my eyebrows like make them look kind of nice and even and I really like a nice bold like defined brow so that's why I take some of the hard candy concealer in like the lightest shade possible and I just use the what is it like the Urban Decay brush from one of the palettes and I just sculpt underneath it because I think if I go over top it makes it too light so I just kind of like to highlight the underneath part of my brow and kind of clean that up a little bit so I just put a little at the beginning and then more towards the tail of it and then I'm using just this kind of like dual fiber blending brush just to kind of buff that out and make it look nice and blended because blend is your friend. Then I'm using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette with that shade right there, Vermeer, Vermeer, who knows. And I'm just putting that underneath to give it a nice little highlight so it's popping. And then I take the palette again and I'm using that first shade and I just apply that with a blending brush as kind of like a little bit of base shade for my eyelid just to help make things not crease throughout the day. Just very lightly, just because it's kind of like a nice neutral skin color shade. Then I'm taking my holograph palette, which is my favorite, and I'm using I don't know if I don't know if I showed it right, but the green, the emerald shade. And I'm just using that as a highlight. Like I said, this is a really simple look because honestly nobody cares how I look at work, so it's more for myself how I look, but I really love these holographic shades, so I just kind of sweep it all over my eyelid, really concentrate it on my inner corner to make that pop out more. And I like this green shade because it matched my shirt that day, so I switch, switch out the shades every once in a while, and I'll do like the purple or the green. Um, so yeah, just help, like sweep that all over my eye lid not like the crease and everything that'd be a little crazy and then my cat decided he needed to be loved so he jumped on me and he's getting his morning loves in and then next is my favorite part which is my winged eyeliner and i'm just using the elf um felt tip eyeliner pen and i'm just creating my wing and i also i really like nice big dramatic winged eyeliner so I usually have it so that it's almost in line with the tail of my eyebrow because I feel that gives me a very open 
bright eyed look I feel because sometimes if I put the wing lower down it, it, I feel like it makes my eyes seem droopy and like they're not alert I, I don't know what I'm trying to say but I just prefer to have them really big and bold and more upwards than like outwards if that makes any sense at all so I'm just trying to you know hopefully get them to match up which is always the hard part of the day of any part of doing my makeup but I've it just takes practice for me so I have it pretty mastered but then there's always like five minutes of just is it even is it even okay let me add this let me add that and then usually I have to fix it with a q-tip but today it was pretty on point for once JK it's always on point no it's not but I'm just rambling now but just trying to make them look even look at that eye okay fix that eye Okay, and then look at that eye, and then I fix that eye. And then that just continues for, like I said, like five minutes of just trying to make them even. But next, I take the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner in black, of course, and I just take this little, it's not quite an angled brush, it's called a smudge brush, and I go over my eyeliner because I feel that it better sets it in place and then I can make it a little more even but it stays all day long and it never creases because I find that with some of the felt tip eyeliners, they can crease throughout the day. So I find if I set it with the gel eyeliner, it lasts all day long. I've even gone swimming. I haven't like dunked my face in the water, but I'll get splashed and stuff and it doesn't move on me at all. So definitely recommend putting a gel eyeliner over top of your liquid if you find that it creases sometimes because for me, this stays all day long and it stays nice and black and sharp which is what I'm going for and then just making sure it's even again check this eye okay now check that eye and then I finally move on to some mascara and I'm just using this like it cosmetics one that I got in my ipsy bag which I kind of I think is pretty good I'm not like overly picky about mascara because I don't curl my eyelashes because I've like honestly like hurt my eyes so many times when I've tried so I just apply the mascara you know, doing that lovely mascara face. Okay, it's like a really loud thunderstorm, so I'm sorry if it's like super loud. Because that was super loud. Oh my goodness. Okay, but still just applying some mascara. And that is the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff.